Hello and welcome to another Blu-ray unboxing video. This time around I have something pretty rad, the Shinya Tsukamoto box set. Uh, for probably close to a decade, probably a little over, I've wanted to see Tetsuo the Iron Man. And the only way to see it for the longest time in America was a $50 out-of-print DVD. $50 for one film on DVD. Uh, not worth it, in my opinion, regardless of how great the movie is. Uh, that's just too much. Uh, the, there was a Blu-ray of the first two films released in uh, some other country. I don't know where it's from, Europe, uh, Germany, something. But it's not playable in America. Uh, this box set with quite a few of the guys' films, which, uh, again, the only two I'm familiar with in here are Tetsuo 1 and 2, uh, actually cheaper than the single Blu-ray of the first Tetsuo. So here we are. I finally uh, made the purchase, grabbed the box set, and now we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, included, you get 754 minutes of content uh, of various aspect ratios, audio, uh, whatever outputs, and uh, some in black and white, some in color. So quite a bit on offer in terms of uh, what it looks and sounds like. Here I will let you, uh, I'm not going to read through, I already have, but you can get a brief rundown on each film. Again, the only one I, I have any knowledge of is Tetsuo. It's the movie that inspired one of my favorite genres, the, the crazy splatterpunk, you know, Japanese gore, whatever, the Machine Girl movies. Uh, this was the one that basically started them all. So, again, I've wanted to see it forever, but it's just been super difficult. But, uh... Arrow coming through. Uh, here you can see uh, quite a few bonus features. The first few are just the technical specifications. All the features are listed at the end, but quite a few. I believe there are eight full-length films and uh, two or three shorts. I, I have no clue, honestly, how much uh, of each is in here. Let's go ahead. There's already a tear in the packaging, so that makes my job a bit easier. I don't believe yeah, each film is not individually wrapped, so I won't need the blade here. It does have a nice flat color pattern on it. You couldn't tell with the the uh, plastic on it, but it looks quite good. There's a little damage there, but looks pretty rad. Nice looking, very professional. People at Arrow knocking out of the park as usual. Let's take a look at the films in reverse, I believe, order. Uh, yeah, well, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, here you get Katoka. I'm probably going to mispronounce a lot of this stuff. I, I'm not Japanese, bros. Uh, there you can see all of the bonus features that are on it, and uh, does each film feature... Uh, each film does feature a reversible uh, reversible sleeve for the other film that is featured, so that, that's a pretty interesting way to do it, but not, not too bad. Alrighty, so that would be uh, Kotoko and Killing, both films on disc 4. Moving on to disc three, we have A Snake of June and Vital, uh, possibly also Haze. I don't know if that's just an alternate title or if that's the short. Uh, it's it's three separate three separate features, so two films and a short there. Pretty rad. I didn't uh, I didn't pay attention to the the artwork underneath. Too busy focusing on the disc. That's pretty rad. I see the hand says Vital now. Alrighty, disc two, we have Tokyo Fist and Bullet Ballet. Bullet Ballet, definitely the cooler covers. I will probably flop that one around later. Probably also do the same for Snake of June, because, uh, you know what I mean? And moving on to the the one that uh, sold this package for me, Tetsuo the Iron Man. That cover yeah, is the other one for part two. The other one is for part two, and it's it's a little bit cooler, but uh, yeah, both covers a little bit lacking. Uh, here we get some sort of ad for Arrow products. Is there a... There's a streaming service, I guess. There you go. And then a little advertisement for Edge of Sanity with old Anthony Perkins. A closer look at some of the bonus features on Tetsuo 2. And then a closer look at the bonus features for the first Tetsuo film. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, finally, I will get to see Tetsuo, thanks to the fine folks at Arrow, and this Shinya Tsukamoto box set. You've seen it be unboxed, and now I'm finally going to see the movie.